To me, Catholic Charity represented a home. It's unity, it's power, it's community. Finding the worth and the value in each person and always ensuring that they leave with their dignity. We've decided a long time ago to make it about people and to make it about doing this together. When I think of 100 years, I think of a full lifespan. Another generation is being born knowing that people came before us and set the groundwork, and we're still here to push the vision forward. What we've grown into is one of the largest social service agencies. We meet anyone who is in need, uh, regardless of their ability to pay. Uh, whether it's New Haven, Waterbury, Torrington, Hartford, over the last 100 years, we've served thousands and thousands of individuals. We focus on providing an environment where individuals and families can achieve higher level of education, higher employment and earnings, less dependency on welfare, and so much more. I was a teacher that came from Puerto Rico. It was like I had all doors shut, and Catholic Charities opened their doors for me. I began here as a Catholic Charities parent, and from there became a volunteer. I got into the instructional leader role, and I became the director of the site. I feel that Catholic Charities has done so much for me. I've seen many families come without any opportunities, and they come out with so many things. The majority of the folks that work in this field have some type of personal history, whether it's a family member or a friend, a child, uh, some type of relative. That's typically how we all get here. They're not expecting us to come back and give back, but because we've been well served, that's why we're coming back. Even when you sit across a family specialist and they, they look for a solution for you, it's always been done with love. We help them with very specific skills around self-sufficiency and self-sustainability long-term. We've had a history of working with the refugees and migrant populations. And then you think about now the impact that we're making on the youth and the students. We started working with children in our early childhood program and realized that the more programs and services we put in place for parents of those children, the better off the kids are. If you're doing everything correctly, you can wrap around and provide the supports for the individual child that then ripples up to the family, that then ripples up to the community as a whole. You can start with one family in one neighborhood and then that family invites someone else and then by the time you look, you've had an entire neighborhood engage, involve, really taking ownership of their surroundings. We get a lot of individuals that come in and they just are really in need of basic human needs. And when you see a family come to you like that, your heart goes out to them. If you're in a situation or in a position to be able to give, I think Catholic Charities is the place that you can put your money and you could be reassured that the money will be spent on the clients. I think for the people that are in this for years and years, that a lot of the people I work with are, make friendships and you have relationships with these folks. And that's all we do is we just try to make sure they get through the day, same as you or I, just with a little help, that's all. As an employee, I really get to live that mission. I really get to see the vision and I don't feel like it's work. I really feel like fulfilling the mission that I was created in this world to do. To know that we were part in uplifting individuals, families, and a whole community just motivates me to continue to come to work, to continue to engage other families, to continue to be that ear, to be that resource or that support for others. What I like about coming to work every day is the children, the families, and my job. I love it. For me, it's such a peace in retirement. I realize that because of the environment that was created and the people that came through our doors, I gave everything I had for as long as I could, and I enjoyed every minute because I felt so good about it. If you ask them, what did you get from Catholic Charities program, they'll tell you hope. They came in hopeless, really feeling like, I don't have a job, I can't help my kid, I don't have any skill, and I'm not capable. And they leave feeling, I can do this, I know what I need to do, and I'm making steps towards that. It's powerful stuff. Even if you don't need help, sometimes we like in that place that we could go and just say, I'm overwhelmed. We believe in what we're doing. We're helping individuals become self-sufficient. They've come to trust and respect 
and have confidence in the work that's done. And I think by virtue of that, that's why we still exist. 100 years of Catholic Charities is a huge accomplishment, and I am very grateful for this opportunity to be able to lead the agency into the next centennial. Caring for humans is complex. It's so multifaceted, and there's so many different parts to it. An organization like this, you touch so many different pieces, it's hard to really capture all of it sometimes, because you miss the little conversations, and you miss the little things that we all do that is part of caring for a person. Merci, Catholic Charité. Thanks, Catholic Charities. Thank you, Catholic Charities. Gracias, Catholico Children. Thank you, Catholic Charities, and congratulations on 100 years of providing help and creating hope.